Hey kids, what is something really hard to do that you need help with? Sometimes we need help with homework because it's hard. We might think, there's no way I can do this. But then someone like mom or dad or maybe a tutor comes along and helps us. And it seems so much easier with their help. Because of them, we can do it. Moses experienced a very similar feeling in today's Bible story. Remember him? He was the Israelite baby who escaped being thrown into the Nile River because his mother put him in a basket that floated to Pharaoh's palace. Pharaoh's daughter found him and he grew up as a member of Pharaoh's family. But after he killed one of the Egyptian slave drivers, Pharaoh wanted to kill Moses and he had to flee Egypt. What a life Moses had already had, but it was about to get even more exciting. Let's find out what happens next with Moses as we hear the story from Exodus chapter 3 through chapter 7 and verse 13. After running away from Pharaoh into the desert, Moses got a job as a shepherd and was caring for some sheep near Mount Sinai. As he approached the mountain, Moses saw a bush on fire. But strangely, the bush wasn't burning up. Moses couldn't believe what he was seeing, so he walked closer to get a better look. As Moses approached, God called to him from the middle of the burning bush. Moses replied, Here I am. God warned Moses not to come any closer. He told Moses to take off his sandals. He was standing on holy ground. Then God said, I have seen what Pharaoh has done to my people, and I have heard their cries for help. I want you to talk to Pharaoh and demand that he let my people go. Moses said to God, Who am I to lead the Israelites out of Egypt? Besides, what if Pharaoh won't listen to me? God replied back to Moses, I will be with you, and if Pharaoh won't listen, then I will show him signs of my power. God told Moses to take his shepherd's staff and throw it on the ground. As soon as the shepherd's staff hit the ground, it started to slither and hiss. Moses jumped back in disbelief. God had turned the staff into a snake. When Pharaoh sees my power, he will let my people go. Still, Moses struggled to find the courage he needed, and so he pleaded with God to send someone else. God became angry with Moses. All right, talk to your brother Aaron. He can do the talking instead. So Moses and his brother Aaron gathered all of their belongings and traveled back to Egypt. God was with them the whole time. When they arrived, Aaron and Moses confronted Pharaoh. They told him, The Lord, the God of Israel, says, Let my people go. Pharaoh replied, I don't believe in this God of yours, so why should I listen to him? Instead of letting the Israelites go, Pharaoh made their life a lot worse for them. The next day, Pharaoh sent a message to the Egyptian slave drivers. Do not supply any more straw for making bricks. Make the people get it themselves. Now, the Israelites had to do twice as much work, and the slave drivers beat them because they couldn't make the bricks fast enough. Aaron and Moses went back to Pharaoh for a second time to demand that he let their people go. Pharaoh said, If it really is your God who says this, then show me a miracle. Just as God had instructed, Aaron threw his staff on the ground, and just like before, the staff began to slither and hiss, and it turned into a snake right before their eyes. Pharaoh seemed unimpressed and called his own magicians who threw down their staffs. 
And just like Aaron's staff, the magician's staff began to slither and hiss. Their staffs turned into snakes, too. God was with Aaron and Moses, and he would not be outdone, because God is stronger. Aaron's staff slithered over to the other two staffs, and with a quick strike, it attacked and swallowed up the magician's staffs. But even after that, Pharaoh still refused to let the Israelites go. Moses struggled to find the courage to do what God told him. He made lots of excuses as to why he couldn't do it. But do you think God, with his infinite wisdom, would have told Moses to do something that he couldn't do? Of course not! God made Moses and knew everything about him. He knew Moses could do it. Because Moses lacked the courage to do what God asked him, he had his brother Aaron do it instead. Sometimes God asks us to do something that's pretty hard, but he will never ask us to do something that we can't do. Maybe he wants you to share the gospel with a friend at school or sit with that new kid at lunchtime. God might want you to tell the truth and apologize about something you did or forgive someone else for something they did. Maybe God is simply asking you to be kind to someone who has been mean to you. No matter what it is, you can do it. And God is right there helping you. In times like those, we can remember the words from Joshua 1.9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid nor dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9 Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid. Those are commands of God. He can command us not to be afraid because He is always with us. So we never have a reason to be afraid. Are you up for the challenge? Will you do the hard thing God is asking you to do? You have no need to fear. He will be with you every step of the way.